Over the years, we've had a number of requests for hot air balloons, and today we're gonna put one together. And let's take a look at what I have here in front of me. Uh, you can see that, well, it's multicolored. And what you wanna do is you wanna arrange these pieces um, so that they alternate in color because the last piece has a series of little cutouts so that you can get your finger in there to glue the final tab. And actually, you wanna make sure that it's the first piece that we begin putting glue on, because when we get all the way around, the tabs on the other piece, which are on the right-hand side, we're gonna to need to actually, uh, well, we're gonna to need to get our fingers in there to glue those down. So we're gonna start with this piece here, and we're gonna grab the next alternating color, which in this case is the red. And as you can see, I've already pre-folded everything. So we're actually gonna start up at the top, get your glue out, move these out of the way. And this process is gonna be, well, a little repetitive, not difficult at all. But you're gonna begin by getting your glue on that first tab. And I'm gonna work that glue out to the very edge there. And you're gonna grab the next coordinating piece and we'll simply just get that nice and lined up. And we wanna make sure that we do in fact get it nice and lined up right up at the top, like so. And then just press those two pieces together and give them a moment to set. Looks like I got them pretty well lined up here. And you can just kind of fold that out of the way to gain access to the next tab and begin putting glue on the next tab. And we're just gonna kind of work our way down. This is probably the most repetitive part of this project, but it's gonna go pretty easy. And then since that first piece is already anchored, it makes for easy work lining up the next section. So just get that nice and lined up, give that a press, and we're gonna be putting panels over this so if you get a little wacky with the glue and make a little bit of a mess, it's okay. This is gonna be a rather forgiving part. The main objective though is to just make sure that you get everything nice and lined up. That is our main focus and main goal at this point. Okay, just get those lines nice and straight on each side. In doing so, the balloon will just kind of start taking on the necessary shape. You don't have to worry too much about lining it, or not lining it up, but you do want to line it up, but you don't have to worry about shaping it. It will essentially shape itself, okay? So we'll get the next one here. And so far, everything looks pretty well lined up. Give that a press. There we go. We'll just move that piece out of the way, make room for the next tab. And this part, again, is gonna be pretty repetitive. The assembly for the rest of these pieces is pretty much identical. You're just gonna align, align each of the sections that correspond all the way up and down the balloon until we have all of the sides put together. And so essentially what I'm saying is if you get it, you understand the concept, you can feel free to pause me and just kind of continue at your own pace and just kind of scrub through the video and when you see me pick up the panels that we're gonna put over this, you can restart me so you don't have to hear me blab the entire time. That's up to you though. I may tell a few little stories here while I'm doing this. Okay, so again, just applying the glue to the tab and I'm certainly, as always, 
working that glue out to the very, very edge of this tab here, just to make sure that once everything is put together, we have nice, even, aligned seams. And that will make for a better end result. Okay, so we have two of the sections put together. And we're going to grab our next yellow section. I'm going to give that just an extra second to set before I move on here. We'll grab our next yellow section and move on. And just continue doing the same exact thing. So we're going to start up again, back up at the top. And get our glue on this tab here. Get that spread out to the very edge. And get the next section aligned. It can kind of help to fold that tab over just a tad. Just to make sure that you've got it in the right spot. And do your best to get it aligned. Again, if you get a little bit of glue squirting out, which I did, it's okay because that panel that we're going to put over this will eventually hide this. And you want to be a little more patient with that top tab as it's kind of anchoring the rest of the piece in place. So don't rush that because if we move on too quickly and try to start working on the next tab, if it pulls apart, then you're back to back to square A here, or point A, and you're going to have to redo it. And sometimes when you have a couple layers of glue on a piece, it takes even longer for it to dry and then you end up with more of a mess and we don't want that. And of course, as always, the less glue you use, the better to a point. Obviously, you don't want to just put one little drop of glue on there. What I mean is the thinner you apply it, the quicker it'll dry and just kind of soak into the fibers of the paper and everything will hold together very nicely. For those of you that have made um, any of our fairy houses, this is kind of a similar shape and the concept is pretty much identical. So if you've done that, if you've made the fairy homes, you should have no problem making the balloon. And putting on the panels is actually very reminiscent of that project or those projects as well. There's really not much to it, but so it being warmer out, and unfortunately, I don't know what's going to happen to the local carnivals and fairs this year, but we wanted to do something to celebrate the upcoming warmer weather. These will be great for uh, birthday parties as well, or just for some decor for a child's room. Uh, but we actually, where I used to live, uh, in the suburb of Woodridge and Downers Grove, there's a neighboring, there's a neighboring city called Lyle, where they have a festival called Eyes to the Skies, and they bring in a ton of different hot air balloons, along with live music and a carnival and all the wonderful foods, your elephant cakes and cotton candy, and of course they have all the rides and games, but the big draw is the balloons. They have hot air balloons. I forget how many they bring, but I want to say it's over a hundred different hot air balloons, and they fill the skies, and it's, uh, it's really a sight to be seen. So that's kind of what this bundle kind of celebrates. Not that one specifically. I'm sure there are other events similar to it around the states and maybe even around the world. But it reminds me of that summertime song which I heard just yesterday. Something along the lines of end of the spring and here she comes. You know the one. It's an old 70s tune, I think. 
All right, so last tab on this section. I could tell that I am maybe just a hair off with my alignment, but that's not going to make or break the project, so don't worry about that. Just do your best. Okay, so three of the sections are together. Again, just be patient. It's looking really good. And you can see here, I'm not using a lot of glue. It's holding very nicely, and we're not making a mess, which are uh, the few things that you want to try to focus on. All right, so again, getting repetitive here, but starting right back up at the top, and that little cat meow you just heard was a new subscriber on our Facebook page. So if you're not already, um, if you don't already like our page on Facebook, I invite you to do that. It's one of the first places we post notifications about any new products, whether they be free or paid or educational videos. And it's always where we do our new bundle giveaways. So when we release the trailer, which is our little video that kind of showcases the new product, we'll do a giveaway. We usually give away uh, one bundle for every 200 interactions we get, whether it be a like or a comment. And we are at uh, about 45,000 strong there, so won't you join us? Okay, so again, just kind of scooching this in a little bit, just making sure that these two lines are lining up the edges of both of these sections. And <clears throat> I'm a kind of a thrill enthusiast, but I'm not exactly sure you could get me up in a hot air balloon. That just seems, uh, I, would, I would equate that with skydiving for some reason. <laughs> well, if the balloon goes down, then you're definitely skydiving, but without a parachute. And I don't know if they put parachutes on those things. Uh, so yeah, thanks but no thanks on the hot air balloon rides. I don't know if I could, uh, I don't know if I could do that. Maybe if you gave me a couple old fashions, maybe two or three or four, maybe ten, then I might do it. But uh, you're not getting me on one of those things, that's for sure. Those men and women are pretty brave to get up into a, uh, a balloon. I think I'd feel more comfortable being like that, that old gentleman from that movie Up just holding a bunch of balloons, because if one of them goes, I still got a few more. Unless, of course, you run into a flock of birds or something. So anyway, there's some insight into how my brain works. Uh, but I am definitely looking forward to the theme parks reopening so I can get on that roller coaster. Uh, I'm not sure how that's going to work this year, but fingers crossed. Okay, so... I've explained it a few times already. I'm not sure that I need to keep repeating myself as far as what I'm doing here. Just simply gluing or putting, applying glue to each tab, each section, working my way down one at a time, making sure that everything is aligned as closely as possible. Uh, I can't tell you what the error of margin is. If you do get, if you are off a little bit, I'm not sure how much you can be off and still uh, recreate it as designed, but uh, you know, just do your best to get it as lined up as you can. It's not too tough. And then you can see here that when I kind of spread that glue out with my finger and press down on those tabs, it really prevents any glue from shooting out and getting all over my project. So. really makes for a neat and much quicker process actually because if you're working on this and you're not able to go as fast as I am, usually it's because you're using too much glue and the more glue you use, the more dense it is and the longer it takes for it to really dry. And more glue doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to hold better. Okay, so. 
I wouldn't, uh, don't think that more is better. Okay, looks like we've got, uh, we're about halfway there. I'm gonna keep on moving here. Now don't forget to alternate your colors because I've got the yellow, red, yellow, red. Now I need another yellow. So starting from the top, now we're here. Starting from the top, I'm gonna put the yellow in here. Okay. And again, just make sure that that top one is as precisely aligned as you could possibly get it. Again, it'll kind of set the tone for the rest of it. And this thing is becoming nice and round now, and it is a little harder to kind of hold in your hand. So just take your time. There we go, it looks pretty good. I think I got that first one on nicely. Okay, let's pull that aside, make room, get access to our next tab here. And just kind of dab that down. You don't have to, I like to. It really just covers the entire tab. We'll give it additional strength. It'll increase its longevity if those sections are making full contact with plenty of blue. But again, not too much. Peel that back, move on to the next one. And once you get into a rhythm, it goes pretty quick. There we go. Nice and tacky. So it'll grab that next piece very nicely. There we go. And just moving right along. <clears throat> it's like uh, with this whole COVID thing, you know, you tend to have these conversations with people almost as if uh, it's like one of those, what would you do if you won the lottery sort of conversation, except the lottery being this virus just going home and letting us get back to doing the fun things that we used to do. We'd love to hear from you guys in the comments about the things that you miss the most right now. I'd be interested to hear what some of those things are. Now, the cool thing is that uh, before this whole COVID thing started, I actually booked a, booked a little vacation up to Eagle River for the summer, which is next month, actually. We're going next month, and uh, I contacted them, and fortunately, that's still... That's still good to go. Seems that um, vacation rentals are still considered essential. I agree. It's good to get a break. And uh, you know, I'm not going to worry too much about it because it's just myself and my family going into a cabin. So we're not really sharing. Um, well, we're not going to be exposed to anyone else. We'll be on a lake swimming, not around a lot of people. So that's something to look forward to despite all the stuff that's going on. I don't think I'd stay at a hotel right now. That would maybe freak me out a little bit, but nothing wrong with getting some fresh air and being out in a cabin. You know, I'm also curious to hear if anyone's actually ever been in a hot air balloon. I know they do like hot air balloon tours. If you have, tell me about it in the comments here on YouTube. Let me know how you like that, if you felt safe or not. <laughs> uh, what do they call that? There's another thing too where you, you get behind a boat. Parasailing, I think it's called. Yeah, I don't know about that either. Kind of a wuss. Okay, so, so far so good. 
And we got yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow. We're going red next. We just got three more, three more sections here to put together. And I'm gonna say that this is probably, probably the most lengthy process in creating this piece. Uh, I do have some panels to put on, but that's gonna go pretty quick because we're not gonna put glue on every little section. So it should go pretty quick. Okay, so grabbing my red piece here, get that nice and aligned with the top section. Just like that, give that a good press. Make sure that that stays nice and anchored. There we go. I think we can move on here to the next section. So you get the idea. I'm wondering how many people are going to just kind of fast forward or pause me here because it is a kind of a monotonous process. There we go. Feels good to get back in the studio and do a little crafting. This We actually ran into some issues with Shipping, USPS seems to be slowing down a little bit, understandably. It's taking a little bit longer for supplies to get delivered, so I was kind of hoping to have this out this past weekend, but of course, we're at the mercy of the state of the world right now, and just kind of count our blessings that we can still send mail, and the things are still kind of semi-working. And that's okay. All right, so again, just kind of getting that nice and lined up. Going pretty easy on the glue, just so that everything glues down nice and quick without a mess. Moving on to the next section. There we go. And voila. So really, um, after this one, we've got one more yellow piece, and then we're going to do a red piece, and that red piece, again, that's the one we're going to use to close everything up, and we're going to start using those little holes on that initial piece, the yellow one, to kind of get our fingers in there uh, to help us get these tabs glued down. So it's going to be a little bit different but not really. Just because of its shape, it's almost it's literally pretty much impossible to get your hand up through the bottom to get your fingers in place where the tabs are gonna be. So we had to kind of devise a method of making sure that you can gain access to all the different sections necessary to close this up without making a huge mess or tearing anything up. And from the prototype, it looks like it worked very well. This is my first time putting this project together. Um, so, as I always say, it being my first time, if I can do it, you can certainly do it. No doubt about it. And if you're not sure yet, I would start off with maybe a simple project, maybe a freebie on our website. It's just kind of... Gain some experience working with some of the smaller files. Every, every project has its own challenge, so to speak. Again, I don't think it's really challenging. It's fun. As long as you follow along, it should be okay. Okay. This looks like, a, what is this? Looks like something. I don't know what. Okay, so next yellow piece. Moving right along here. And it's gonna be a little more challenging here because it doesn't want to doesn't want to stay open. 
but that's okay. Once we get this first piece anchored, it'll go a little bit easier at this point. Okay. Again, don't mix up the colors. Try to make sure that I'm going back and forth here. Now you can make these all the same color if you want. It's up to you and how you want to make your balloon. No rule saying you can't do it that way. Okay, looks like that one was a tad bit off. There we go. That's better. Get my hand in there real quick. Make sure I got it lined up. There we go. Much better. Okay. All right, we'll move that out of the way. Moving right along to the next tab. Again, this is the, and we could have made it square, maybe had less sides, but we want to make it as close to real life as possible. So we need it to go eight sides at a minimum. I think it's eight. Yeah. And the end result just looks fantastic. Again, from the judging from the prototype. Now, once we really get all the beautiful colors and patterns involved, it's going to be a really wow type project. I think it would pair well with um, with the Princess Castle too. or the winter, not the princess castle. I think it's the winter wonderland castle. I think that's what we called it. Just really a nice whimsical project. Okay, moving right along to the next tab here. I'll just bat that down. And press that into place. There we go. Getting close here. There we go. The carnivals open up again this year. I know the kids love it. I love it too. I love playing the games. I don't like those games where you win a prize every time. I want I like the ones where you actually have to have some skill to win the games. There's a time we went to uh, Six Flags Great America. And this game where you have to knock down these three metal bottles completely off of this table, and the prize was a scooter. And I, of course I won it, and we gave it. I told the kids, I said, oh, uh, we're not taking this home, so if I win it, you're gonna choose somebody, just randomly, and give it to them, and they did. They had a blast. Okay, so last section here, and then we'll move on to the final piece where we're gonna utilize little holes to help us get this thing all together. Well, I did my math wrong, and I guess there's still two more sections to put together, but that's okay. Now, if it helps, you can take this piece and kind of tuck it, tuck it in like that, just to make it easier to work with. We'll untuck it once we get to that last section, but for now, this might make it a little bit easier to get this section on. Okay. So, again, same thing here. Just getting this section lined up as accurately as you can. Might need to give it a little nudge down. 
There we go. And just be patient. just kind of move that out of the way so it's easier to access this next little piece and just moving right along there we go whoops that top section came undone there Jump the gun. I'll just go back in and fix her up. And this time, I'm going to be a little more patient and let that completely set. Now there is a little more resistance at this point so just want to be patient before we move on here pull this out takes okay so just moving on right along here to the next tab we get our glue on there and just flatten it out hopefully you can see that yep, you can see that and there we go Get that nice and aligned, give it a press and hold. Yep, so uh, yeah, we're gonna get the uh, get this section all done here and uh, there's a little top that we need to put in place and then of course to stay true to the dreaming tree style, we got plenty of little details that we're gonna add to this to really make it pop. Kind of starting off with the more challenging aspect of this project. So once we get this done, the rest of it will probably be, should be easy going. tabs and then we can close this thing up just really taking my time here this is probably the most important thing to get right otherwise it may look a little weird <laughs> if you uh you goof up the main part of the balloon, obviously. Well, and besides that, the rest of the process is pretty straightforward. There's just a, a number of little details, and it's mostly just paper piecing stuff. So again, once we get through this, the rest of it's a little more, more fun. 
This is fun too. I'm not saying it's not. Okay, so that is not lined up at all. There we go. Get that nice and aligned. There we go. Okay, so as you can see here, had we not added, you know, one thing I noticed here, this part's a little dented. Before we move on, I'm gonna pop that out. And this part came undone while I did that. Look at that. I really don't mind showing you guys my mistakes because I feel like well, you can see that I'm human too and it happens. Not a big deal. Okay, so just pull that away a little bit. Because you can see here, now we're starting to get that resistance. And it's just normal based on the shape of this thing. That is bound to happen. And it's not a big deal. No big deal. Okay, so just be patient while that sets. And then as you can see here, well, I'm not ready to move on yet. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna say at this point, you can get your finger in through the top here for the top tab. So I think that's what we're gonna start. Okay, now this may be a good time to grab a scrap piece of paper because we may need to use it to kind of paint some of the glue onto some of these tabs here as it may be a little difficult to get um, well, to get your glue nozzle in there. So I'm just gonna get that ready. And again, we'll start off right up at the top. You can still get your finger in through the top. So that will help with the alignment for the top one and getting that into place. Okay, so just do that. And that looks pretty darn good. So you can see that I can actually get my finger in here too to help press that into place. Thank goodness for this little hole. Very helpful. Okay. And now I'm going to tuck the rest of these tabs underneath just so that we don't have to go pulling this thing apart too much. <clears throat> and this is where I'm going to use a scrap piece of paper. I could probably still get my glue nozzle in through the bottom, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use a scrap piece of paper and I'm going to throw a little bit of glue right on that. Okay. And I'm literally just going to paint the glue onto this section from underneath like so. Perfect. And get that lined up. You can feel the tab in there and just press that in place. Now, even if, the entire tab isn't like holding, it's fine. You don't have to worry about getting every single inch of that tab glued down. It's really just the sum of all its parts. It will, it'll do its job. Okay, so I'm gonna take my scrap piece of paper, throw a little bit more glue on it. Now we're on this section here. I'm just gonna lift it up slightly and just paint a little bit of glue right on the underside of that section. And I'm gonna grab that tab from the inside, get it nice and aligned. And just hold that in place and let that set. Just like that. And just keep holding until it's fully set. So we'll grab our scrap piece, throw some more glue on that, <clears throat> and I'm going to paint some glue right underneath this tab here, or the next section. Okay. And 
Let's get that nice and aligned. And just press and hold that until it's fully, fully set. Don't don't jump the gun, don't go don't move ahead until you are sure that that is not moving whatsoever. There we go. And if you need to, for whatever reason, it won't harm anything at all. If you want to cut a little bit more of this to get your finger in there better, you can do that. This is all going to be covered up by a panel. Okay, you don't want to go you don't want to go too far, but you can do that if your fingers are not getting in there for whatever reason then you can absolutely cut that up. All right, so going to the next section here, just gonna paint a little bit of glue right onto that whole section there. Get my finger in there, get it nice and aligned, and just press and hold that in place. Okay. Again, not going to move on until, until it's fully set. And then you can see here the remaining two tabs should be able to get your hand in underneath and get that glued down. So I am going to continue using my little painting method here. And actually, let me, let me trim this a little bit. Might be a little bit better if it's thinner. And I'm just going to take and paint a little bit of glue right on that whole section there. Just like that. Get your hand up in there. And get that nice and lined up. And you can also go in from the top here, this top hole, to get that lined up. And then from the bottom as well. And just press and hold that in place. Just like that. And then finally, where am I? There it is. Throw a little more glue on your scrap piece. And we're just going to paint this last section here all the way up and down. Just like that. And because we've got an opening at the bottom, you should be able to get your hand right in there and get that nice and glued into place. And you can see how automatically. It kind of just starts taking on the ultimate final shape of our little balloon here. Okay, so there we have it. Beautiful. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put on the little lid or the top. Okay, and it's actually, um, well, it's two pieces. The first one is like this, and that's just so you can get your finger in there and actually glue it to the tabs. So let's start on, pick a side, doesn't matter which side. And I'm gonna lift these little tabs up. Well, just one of them actually. Let's get this anchored down onto one of the sections. So put a little bit of glue on one of these little tabs. Doesn't matter which one really. And just get that nice and aligned. And press and hold that in place for just a moment. Let it set. Make sure it's nice and centered on there and that the very edge of it is kind of butting up against the little score marks there where that tab is. You don't want it going over. You want it kind of just pretty much touching the tabs. Okay. And then kind of move that out of the way temporarily. And let's flare these up a little bit. And we're going to put glue on the remaining tabs here. Again, don't be overly concerned if you get a little messy here because these, all this stuff is eventually going to be tucked away and hidden away. There's elements that we're going to put on this to kind of hide it. Okay, so I've got the glue on that. I'm going to flare these up a little bit so that as I push this down, it makes better contact with all the tabs. And then, of course, we do have a little hole there. 
so that you can get your finger in there and kind of squeeze the sections together like so. Okay, and if it's not perfect, don't worry about it too much because again, we've got, uh, well, this little element here, that's gonna cover all this up anyway, so it's not a huge deal. Okay, but give that a second to set, be patient with it. You can also, if you want, flip it upside down and grab a dowel and push down from the inside to really get all those little tabs to connect nicely so that they're all touching nicely. And there you go. Okay. And finally, we're gonna close it up with this little piece here so that there's not a hole on it. And that's gonna make it look nice and seamless as well. So let's do that. Just throw a little bit of glue around this whole little section. Okay, and again, don't worry too much if you get glue outside of this area. This is all gonna be covered up by a series of panels, which we'll get to here in just a moment. But go ahead and just line that up and close it off. And there we go, that'll be nice and sturdy now. I had some glue pop out here, but not a big deal. Okay, so <clears throat> now we're gonna start working on our panels. Okay, we're gonna get our panels in place. And you'll notice that these panels, uh, well, they're a little bit thicker at the bottom, thinner at the top. The top, um, there we go top is going to go, these, this is the top, this is the bottom, okay, the bottom is a little bit thicker. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to begin by putting glue just up at the top, and we're not even going to put glue on the whole thing. We're just going to glue the tops and the bottoms, and just kind of leave the rest of it as is. It will, uh, well, it's going to have a nice round shape, it'll hug the main structure and it shouldn't really move anywhere. So what we can do, let's do this. Let's do, let's put our glue, let's put our glue on this whole section here like so. And then also just throw a little bit of glue right up at the very tip of the first panel. And of course the panels, those are gonna alternate as well based on the color that you're using. So in this case, since I have this on a red panel, uh, I'm using a red panel, I'm gonna do this on the red section. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for this section to set before I bring it down to the bottom. And you can see that mine matches up pretty much perfectly at the bottom. So um, keep on holding that up at the top don't let go until it's fully set and then we can go ahead and um, we can kind of let that loose and get a little bit of glue just work the bottom I'd say maybe about an inch cover about an inch of the bottom and then spread that glue out all the way to the very 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 bottom and bring it back up and get that lined up with the very bottom of that section. Just kind of use your finger to feel that section lining up nicely with the very bottom of the balloon. Okay, and there you go. Just like that. That's gonna look wonderful. And don't let go till it's fully set. You don't wanna to have to go back and redo that. Okay. So first section is done. And of course, again, we're alternating the colors here. So you wanna grab the next color, in my case, the yellow, and just kind of figure out where it's gonna go. And I have it kind of, I'm pushing it all the way up to this little piece up here. So um, you don't want it over it. You don't want it way down. You want it pretty much nudged up right against that little top cap part. Okay, and you know what? I think I'm just gonna do it this way this time. I'm just gonna put glue 
on maybe uh, the first inch of the top here. And I'm gonna spread that glue out to the very, very edge so that part doesn't come pulling away. And just kind of pop it in place, make sure that it's centered. And then take a look too at the alignment there. Make sure it looks nice and neat. And just press and hold that in place for a moment, let it set. And that is gonna turn out really nice. And you can see how we've got a nice curvature going here. Just be patient holding that up at the top. Don't release it too quickly or too soon. Okay, and then we can again, just kind of drop that down and apply glue to maybe just about an inch, inch and a half. Okay, and then we'll take and spread that glue all the way to the bottom. Like that. And bring that up. Make sure you keep it nice and centered. And just kind of pull it nice and taut so that it lines up with the very bottom. Just kind of running my finger along this bottom here just to make sure that it in fact is matched up nicely. And we'll just press and hold that in place for a moment until it's set. So you probably guessed it. And we're gonna do this six more times, alternating colors, alternating the panels until we have all the sides together. And there we go. Okay, so moving on to the red one. Again, find the thinner top part and we'll get our glue on roughly about an inch at the top and spread that glue out to the very, very edge of the top there. Okay. And a little excess glue there. And just line that up, kind of butt it up against the very top, make sure you got it centered. And just press and hold that. And while you're holding it, maybe just bring it down, make sure that the alignment is on point. That looks great. Yeah, there's gonna be a, a little bit of a, a seam, like a gap between the two seams. Now you'll notice that I did a little bit of inking on this piece too, and for, for whatever reason, the inking does sort of help, uh, well, you know, the seams kind of, it adds a nice little aesthetic to it. It's, it's cool. I'm really digging this, how, how it's turning out so far. Okay, but again, just make sure you keep, you keep holding this top part here so it doesn't come pulling away. And then we'll just move on down here. Get about, cover up about an inch of this bottom part. And as I mentioned, spread that glue out to the bottom so it ain't going anywhere. There we go. And just pop that and pull that up, right up to the top. If you need to kind of give it a little bit of a pull, feel free to do that. You shouldn't have to though. Everything should kind of match up nicely. And there we go. Okay, so this is another one of those moments where you can pause me and just finish up the remaining sections here. And then once you see me, eh, what are we gonna do next? We're gonna put the panels there's uh, another set of panels that are gonna go over this, these little guys. When you see me pull these out while you're scrubbing through the video, that's your cue to resume watching. And I will walk you through that as well. Okay. There we go. All right, moving right along here. Now we're going to the next yellow one. And same process, we'll grab the, grab our glue, go about an inch. That's probably good. Just kind of spread that out all the way to the top. And just nudge it up to that piece. Make sure you got it nice and centered. Don't, don't overlap its neighboring piece. And there we have it. Press and hold. And that's looking good. Yep. 
And you do want to just be patient here so that this thing doesn't come pulling away. You'll also notice, if you're noticing things, there's a couple of little score marks here. And that is for the, the little banner of the bunting uh, that's to help you with the placement of that because this balloon is going to be fancy. Okay, and let that drop and get our glue on the bottom of that. And just spread that out all the way. There we go. And just pull that up. Make sure it's centered. There we go. Looking good so far. And you can see how it just kind of naturally curves. It makes it look nice and round. Each piece, as long as you you get it nice and aligned, just sort of falls into place, creates that nice little seam in between the two layers or the two sections, multiple colors. And it just really looks like a round balloon. I would say that the engineering on this is very well done. Kudos to Diana for doing such a great job making this easy. And of course, our art director, Ron, for the design. Beautiful design. Okay. All right, moving right along to the next panel here. Of course, since it's, I'm on the red section here, I've got my red panel. I'm going to nudge that right into place and hold it. Let's check to see how it sits. It looks like it sits well. I'm very happy with that. Just keep on holding that top part. Don't let go. No, no, no. And there we go. I never seem to know exactly how much time is the ideal time. You just get a feel for it as far as how long to hold something. And I guess if you, uh, you move on and, and it comes off, then you know you got to wait longer. Okay, so this one is in place. We can move on to the next yellow layer, in my case yellow. It'd be really cool to see what, uh, what you guys do with, with your balloons. I was actually really quite impressed with all of the different uh, versions of the cake that we just released. That was really cool to see. You guys were really creative. Okay, so just get that lined up. Just nudge it up against that little hexagon or octagon up there. And again, just kind of bring it down. Make sure that everything's nice and lined up. That looks good. I'm just going to hold that in place for just a moment. And okay, and kind of let that drop. Get our glue on again, just about an inch or so should be fine. And let's uh, spread that glue down to the very bottom. Just like that. And bring that down, get it nice and aligned with the very base. Make sure it's nice and flush and nice and centered. And just hold that in place until it's set. There we go. Two more panels, two more main panels, I should say. And then we can start adding some more little overlays and really decorate this thing. Okay, I think that's good. One more red piece. Again, use the smaller, thinner section for the top. Try not to get those confused. I think once you put it in there or put it in place, you'll know that it's not the right end because it won't really fit. You can see here, that's way too large, right too wide. Okay, just pop that right into place. Nudge it right up against that little octagon. Make sure it's centered. Get a feel for 
how it's going to sit and just press and hold until it sets. There we go. <clears throat> and I can drop that down. There's Humpty Dumpty. This is from a Graphic 45 paper stack. I think it's Mother Goose. Oldie but a goodie. There we go. And bring that down. Get it nice and aligned with the very bottom. Make sure you get it nice and centered as well. And I gotta give that a little bit of a nudge to the left, I think. There we go, that's better. Okay, that looks good. And just hold that in place for a moment. There we go. Okay, so last little panel here, of course, are yellow. It's the only one that's left. Same thing. Just about an inch. And pop that right into place. There we go. And just hold that. Let's bring it down, see how it looks. Looks great. And whoops. <clears throat> I don't think I put enough glue on there. I'll go a little heavier this time. There we go. We'll try that again. Yeah, see I can tell that that little uh, little octagon there. On that end, in that section, it's uh, it's a little bit off. So when you put that down, just make sure that when you stretch this down to the bottom, that it actually will make its way all the way down to the bottom. And if you need to make any adjustments, just kind of bring it down a bit from the top. Feel free to do that because again, this is well, it's a it's a paper project. There's a margin of human error. Things aren't always going to be perfect. It's not like Legos where it's hard plastic. So just do your best. Okay, you can let that fall and throw a little bit of glue right on the bottom there. And the fact that this section here has those little windows, it's really not going to impact the structural integrity of this project at all. Shouldn't be a problem. Still going to hold nicely, and there's that last section. Just going to hold that in place, let it set, and look at that. Look at that beautiful shape. Nice and round. And can begin putting some more little embellishments on the top part of this guy. There we go. Okay. All right, so there's our, our beautiful balloon. You can see how nice that looks. I'm looking at this angle here. Very nice, very, very nice. Okay, so uh, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put these pieces on, okay? And similar to what we did with these panels, uh, we're gonna alternate the colors. So the yellow sections are gonna have these red ones on here, and we are actually going to glue these uh, pretty much just like we did the main panels where we're going to take the very end of this and uh, that's going to butt up against this little octagon up here. Okay, so uh, that is how we're going to do it. And I think with this one, we're going to, we're going to put glue on this whole thing here. So start at the top, make sure you get some glue up to the top and then um, especially again you want to make sure that you get some glue around the bottom and spread that glue out to the very bottom. Okay. So we're going to kind of butt that up 
right up at the top, right where the original panel uh, begins. Make sure it's nice and centered. And then just bring that down and just hold that in place like so. Try to get it as centered as you can. And just be patient while that sets because it is going onto a curve. And there we go. Okay, so we'll do that a few more times. Seven to be exact. This is another, another one of those moments where if you want, you can kind of breeze through and then meet me at the next section. We're going to be putting these little embellishments on top of these panels. Okay, but again, just make sure that you get some glue right up at the very edge. And then hit the center a little bit and then probably like a half circle around the bottom. Spread that glue out to the very ends. Don't forget to alternate your colors and get that nice and aligned, nice and centered. And just wrap that around and down onto this section here. Just hold the top and the bottom. Make sure that those are nice and flush and making good contact with the panel. like that. Okay, I'm moving right along. Get your glue right up to the top, hit the middle a little bit, and then a nice little half circle on the bottom. Spread that glue out like so. And Excess there. Get it nice and centered. I'm literally butting it up against that little top piece there. I'm trying to make sure I get it as centered as possible. And just press and hold that down. Yeah, it's not too much of a curve where we need to do any sort of training with the paper. I don't really think that's necessary. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, moving right along. Next section. A little bit of glue at the top. Hit the middle. And kind of like a half circle at the bottom. Spread that glue out. There we go. And just get that nice and aligned with the very top of the panel underneath. Make sure it's centered. And bring that down all the way. And just hold that in place. forget to alternate your colors. And same thing here. A few more of these. And then it's it pretty easy after this. Kind of fun actually. Okay. Nice and centered. And bring it down and hold. There we go. Now I suppose you can certainly make this your own and omit any of the little details as you please. Uh, but, you know, anytime, I'm sure that there are some paper hot air balloons out there already, but we're always trying to one up anybody else that has a, attempted to make anything like this as far as designers go and you know add all those little details that you don't see on other ones that really take it over the top and I think that our art director Ron has succeeded in doing that 
Okay, so just adding this one here. Make sure it's nice and centered and just lay it down. Make sure it's making good contact. And you see why um, kind of sp spreading that glue all the way down to the very ends and really helps uh, keep this thing in place so it doesn't come pulling apart, pulling away. Just makes everything look nice and polished. Okay, so I've got, I've got two more here. Okay, getting my red one. Blue at the top, a little bit throughout, and then a nice half circle at the bottom. Spread that glue out nice and thin so we're not spending a year and a day waiting for it to dry. And right up to the very tip of that first panel, nice and centered, and just get it on there real nice. There we go. Yeah, and you know, because it is round, we do have to take a little bit more time to make sure that that glue really holds, otherwise it's gonna pull away and then it's gonna look all messy. If it was flat, probably wouldn't have to spend as much time ensuring that everything is staying in place, but it's okay. What do you expect when you're trying to create something three-dimensional and round out of paper? It's gonna be a little bit of patience involved. It's a work of art. Okay. Got a little something on there. All right, last little section here. Again, just matching it up with the first panel there, getting it nice and centered, and then just bringing it down, just kind of hugging that curve, and hold while it sets. There we go. Well, that's starting to look nice. And the bottom part is kind of coming off. Maybe you didn't get enough glue on there. There we go. Okay. All right, so that's that. Now, what we want to do is you want to find, uh, in my case, we're doing this with a gold glitter. Um, let me just show you the differences between these three similar, well, not similar, but they're all gold. So you've got this one that has a little flower at the end. You've got this one that looks like that. And then you've got this one here, which is the longest piece with a little circle uh, at the end. We want the ones with the circles on the ends that are the longest ones. Those are the ones that we're gonna need for this next section here, okay? And this is very similar. What we're gonna do is we're gonna glue this right on top like that. Okay, so that's gonna go right there like so. And this is exactly the same where we're gonna line this up the, the side opposite the side of this little circle. It's kind of flat here. We're gonna line that up with the previous panel. And with this one here, we could probably, well, you don't need to put glue on every single inch of it but you definitely want to get glue on the circle and the other end that has that flat section. Okay, so just get that lined up nice and centered on the panel and just pop that down into place and hold like that. Okay, and this is again one of those, another one of those sections here where uh, the process is gonna be exactly the same all the way around we're doing this eight times, so if you want to skip ahead and fast forward, uh, I think the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna probably either put our little bunting on or put the top on with the string. I haven't decided which one we're gonna do yet. So when you see me pull out the next set of items, you can feel free to hit play again, and we'll just kinda continue where we left off. Okay, but just don't forget, Get that glue all the way around that circle, as well as the top, okay? And in this case, we're not 
concerned about alternating colors. It's all, in my case, gold glitter, uh, depending on what you're going to be using. It's all going to be the same color for that one as well. And just press and hold that in place and let that set. Okay, this I think is going to actually glue down pretty quick. I don't know if I have to worry too much about taking too much time on that. Okay, so same thing here. Get a little bit of glue all the way around, especially around that circle and the top. And just get that nice and centered on this panel. And just bring it down like so. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. All right. And keep on cruising here. Yeah, so I think this one, this project is going to take a little bit longer than some of our projects. I was actually looking at our YouTube channel the other day. I might have been showing one of my friends, or maybe it was one of the kids, um, about, I think somebody asked me how long, what's the longest video we have as far as assembly goes, and it turned out to be, you know, I think the top two, one is the Winterland Castle. I think that runs about four and a half hours. And then um, one of our haunted houses was about two something, I think. This one for sure is gonna take, um, this one's gonna take at least, at least an hour um, as far as the assembly goes. Now, if you're gonna be doing some inking and such, like I did, uh, you could probably tack on, tack on another maybe 30 minutes or so, but you know, you're not gonna find anything like this at a store anywhere and once it's all said and done, it's going to be a very unique and beautiful piece that can be used for a lot of different things. Okay. And there's the next one. Get it nice and centered. Pop that down and hold it. Yeah, there's definitely, definitely more waiting with this project because it's round. But anyway, I hope you guys are doing well, despite the stuff that's going on in the world. I know it's, I think it's all getting to us in one way or another. Uh, maybe causing a little anxiety and depression for some people. So hopefully this is a good outlet for everyone. Keep your hands and your mind busy. Stay off the internet, that's for sure. I've been trying to... Uh, limit my Facebook use. I pop in, I see what you guys are doing, I'll leave some comments and then I am I am out of there. I have to I gotta keep it together for the sake of my family and my employees and it's uh, it's a trying time that's for sure. And I do appreciate everyone's continued support of the site. We're lucky. I mean, I can tell that, uh, you know, some people are, well, they're trying to save some money right now, which I don't blame them, but for the, for the most part, our, uh, our fans are wonderful and they're keeping everybody busy and employed. So thank you for that. We haven't, haven't had to do, haven't had to cut hours or do anything like that with anyone on my team. So I'm very thankful for that. Okay, so we're getting there. Again, it's, uh, it's a little bit of slow going here just because it's round and it's natural for the paper to want to kind of pull away and straighten out. It's spent its whole life straight and flat. And now here we are trying to uh, shape it into something beautiful. And it's like, well, hey, I'm not used to this. But I guess I'll go along with it. And the last one, there we go. Just make sure you get it nice and centered. And there we go. Okay, so, so far so good. It's looking, looking nice. 
Just keep holding that in place. And there we go. Okay, so, yeah, I'll say that's looking pretty sharp. Okay, so, uh, next thing we can do is we're gonna put the little top on here and we're gonna need some string. So one thing I would suggest doing is initially using more string than you think you're gonna need because you can always trim it later. Uh, but once we get the string on here, it may be difficult to, well, you're gonna ruin the project essentially if you, um, if you have to redo the string. Okay, so this green piece here, we're gonna take the string and we're gonna feed it through, okay. And I am just gonna tie a knot here just so that it doesn't come undone. And it's really long right now and that's okay. Again, I'd rather have more string now. I can always shorten it up later. You can see how long it is. Um, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this piece and this piece is gonna get glued right to the top, like so, okay? And we're gonna want to You know what I'm gonna do? Because we kind of want this to, we want it to hug the entire top, like a nice cap. So you know what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm going to just kind of train the little um, scallops down. And I may actually even train a little bit beyond the scallops just to kind of create it or make it so that it's kind of more cupped, like a cupped shape. Okay. Go around a couple times. There we go. Okay, so I've got a nice cupped shape and make sure that where you have your little knot, it's nice and centered in the middle. Okay, and again, that's just gonna go right on top like so. Now if you want, you could use some hot glue for this section if you want to do that, that's fine. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue on this whole section here. And that's probably a little too much, but I use a scrap piece of paper, just kind of dab it, flatten it out. If it goes a little bit beyond this little hexagon, it's okay because this piece is way larger. And I'm just gonna flatten that and thin that out a little bit so it doesn't warp the paper and it kind of will just glue down a lot quicker for us. But just make sure that your string is in fact on there. And I'm gonna need to stand up here just to make sure that I get this nice and centered. Do a little eagle eye. There we go. And just press and hold that in place until it's fully set. And I think I got that pretty centered, I'd say. Let's take a look here. Okay, so I've got the top on. I'm gonna put this off to the side for a moment then let it set so that um, I don't inadvertently try to lift it up and then it just kind of flies off. I don't want it, I want that to happen. So I'm gonna put that off to the side. There's a little finial that we need to assemble. It's gonna go on the top here. Okay, it's a pretty small piece. You can see it here. I'm gonna zoom in with the camera here in just a moment. Uh, but you wanna go ahead and get everything folded at the score marks. And we'll put this guy together. It'll go together quick. It's really small. Not a lot of uh, surface area to cover with glue. So just be a few little dots here and there, and it should go together fairly quickly. And then we've got some little wings that we're gonna put on this to jazz it up, almost give it a, uh, well, kind of like a steampunk sort of feel. So that'll be cool. But you definitely wanna just get all of the, all the little sections with the score marks nice and trained and ready to go. 
Okay, so for our finial here, you'll notice that there's one section that's already kind of together, and there's the other section here that has a series of small little triangular tabs. We're gonna put those tabs together. So you just wanna throw a little bit of glue, just a tiny bit, on each of these little triangular tabs, and then bring it over to its neighbor, and just press and hold that between your fingers for just a moment. Let it set, and you can see, because it's such a, <laughs> spoke too soon. I think my finger's getting a little bit of glue on them. Just press and hold that in place until it's fully set. Don't go too fast like I just did. There we go. And just move right on to the next little triangular tab. Don't put too much glue on there. And just line it up, give that a press. You can see the next little tab there that we're gonna put glue on. Just hit that with a little tiny bit of glue. Maybe flatten it out, thin it out a little bit. And just press and hold that in place. There we go. And just move right along. Next little tab. Dab that a bit. And it may help at this point to flare these little tabs up at the top out of the way so you can get your finger in there. And at this point, you may need to grab a little dowel or something since it may be difficult to get your finger in there, use the dowel as your finger and just press and hold that in place. Let that set. Okay. And we are going to have to, there's gonna be some resistance here. So make sure that the glue on the previous tabs is fully set before you go pulling this thing away from itself. And again, I'm just using that dowel on the inside to kind of add that, that pressure, give me something to push up against. Okay, and that just leaves one more little tab here. So get your glue on this guy here. Kind of flatten that out, tuck it back in. And actually while we're here, can put some glue on this little tab here so that we can close this up completely. We may have to reapply the glue on that section, depending on how quickly we're able to do this. But get that nice and aligned. Get that little, get your dowel in there and just push up against that. And then down here, you can kind of push up against that as well to close it up. Give that a few seconds. There we go. And then I'm gonna get these tabs out of the way. It's a delicate little piece, but it's doable. And I don't know if that glue is gonna hold. It should. Yep, it did. Cool. Okay. So that's it for the finial. Now what we can do is take these tabs, these little teeth, and let's get some glue on these little guys here. And I'm just gonna hit that with my finger, get that out to the very edges, and go ahead and close this up. May need to kind of nudge and push in the sides a little bit, just to make sure that everything is nicely aligned. Okay, and we're gonna put a, uh, well, you can also flip this upside down and push your dowel in through the top there. Just to make sure that all of those little teeth are making full contact, like so. There we go. And then we'll fold these teeth in like that. 
and get our glue on the remaining teeth here. Give that a dab and go ahead and close that bottom up. And just press and hold that in place and you can see it's like a little diamond shaped, little diamond shaped finial. Be patient while that sets. And uh, as I mentioned way, way early on in the video, we've got some little wings that we're going to add to our little finial here. Okay. And there you have it. There's our little finial. And what we're going to do, I'm going to take two of these, and you'll notice that there is a little score mark on this piece. We're going to take two of these and glue them back to back um, just at this part here. We're not going to actually put any, we're not going to glue the tabs back to back. We're going to let them flare out like that. Okay, so go ahead and put some glue on one of these sides. doesn't matter which one. Try to get that glue out to the edges here as well. So this thing is nice and seamless and flush. I'm just going to hit that with my finger a bit and close that up. Or just connect the two, I should say. Okay, just like that. I'll give that a press. And we'll do the same thing with the other two. Make sure that you Fold at the score mark on both of them. Okay, and add your glue. And just pop them on back to back. Make sure that you get them nice and aligned. I'm pressing this down flat, uh, but there's no glue on the tab, so you can do that. It's okay. No big deal. Okay, and now these little guys here, these are going to get glued to the bottom section of the finial like that. Okay, so go ahead and put some glue on the two tabs. Don't glue them together. Just get some glue on the tabs. Okay, and then just any side you want. Pop it right on there like so. Just like that. Okay. And then the other two, obviously, are going to go on the side opposite of the side that the existing one is on. Like this. Okay, there we go, and you can see what we've got there, what we end up with. And there we go. Okay, so this will be this will be the little cherry on top of our little balloon. All right, so here's our balloon. Everything's glued down now, and you can see I'm able to lift it up. It's holding on nicely. Okay, so I'm gonna take and put some glue on the bottom of our little finial here. And I'm gonna go a little bit heavier on the glue here because I really want it to, well, it's just, okay. And we're gonna place it, and we're gonna place it right in the center of the balloon here, at the top of the balloon. And I'm just gonna press and hold that down while it gets its initial hold and you may want to use some hot glue for this. I probably will go back and do that just to make sure that it doesn't come flying off. But that seems to be seems to be working okay. Anyway, that's how that's going to look. Um, let me get my hot glue out. Okay, so you can see here we've got the little finial in place. I did end up just hot gluing it. It seemed to have worked better. Um, so anyway, we've got that part done. Now, uh, a couple more things that we gotta do 
on the actual balloon before we work on our little basket for the bottom. Uh, we've got this nice little bunting. And you can see here, I've already kind of pre-folded a few of these. Uh, this is actually the same, same concept that we used on the cake. So you'll notice that there's a little score mark going down the center here. And all you wanna do is just take and put your fingers right about here and just start creasing and, and pinching it to create that dimension out of this piece, okay? And then you'll also notice that there is a little score mark there. And you wanna just fold that one side over and that's gonna help us get that glued into place. So I'll show you that again. You simply just take the center, just kind of start pinching it gently all the way up and down to create that, that nice banner or bunting, I should say. Okay, so there we have it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue that to the side of our balloon here. And you'll notice that we have some markers here to help you with the positioning of each of these. So I'm gonna use hot glue for this since it is kind of, um, well, it's just, it's, it's a really dimensional piece going onto another dimensional piece. And again, you'll notice on the actual balloon here, there are a series of score marks and that is to help you with the positioning of these pieces. You wanna keep these circular portions of these pieces just slightly below where those little score marks are, okay? And that's gonna help you keep it consistent throughout. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put just, whoa, yeah, not that much. That just came shooting out like a bat out of hell. Let me, get, let me get rid of that. We'll start again here. Here we go, guys. For those of you that know me, you know how much I love hot glue. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little drop of hot glue on each side, uh, right on the little circle, just like that. Again, use those little guides there to help you with the positioning. Try to keep it just directly under where the little score marks are. And there we go. Okay, so the first one's in place. And again, love-hate relationship with the, uh, the hot glue, but boy, does it really make quick work out of certain things. Okay, and then we're just gonna work our way around. So just another little squeeze of hot glue onto the little circular sections. Not too much. And then you're gonna take this side and overlap it with the existing side. And then this side here, again, you wanna make sure you keep it just underneath where the little, uh, little markers are. That way we can keep it nice and consistent all the way around the balloon. Okay, we can rotate it. Definitely, definitely, definitely use the hot glue on this part, otherwise it could get a little frustrating, I think, just because of the shape of the balloon. Okay, and there's those silly, wispy, annoying things. Pop it right on top of the circle from the other one, and then just get that right below that little marker for the next one. And just keep on moving right along. Okay. Just a little dot. Hot glue really, really goes a long way. Okay. Match it up with the existing circle, other side, right below that little marker just slightly. We're gonna be covering that up with a uh, the little marker will disappear once we put an additional little embellishment on top of that. So really going all out with the details here on this balloon, but it's gonna look great once it's all said and done. Okay, there's our little dot. There's our little wispy annoying thing. There we go. Try to just kind of take the, the nozzle of your hot glue gun and just kind of wipe it off against the paper that you're gluing to 
to avoid all that wispy stuff getting all over the place. Seems to do the trick. Okay, there we go. And our next one. There we go, that's not bad. Could be worse. There we go. And just make sure that you get that little circle right on top of the previous circle. There we go. Beautiful. A couple more. Hopefully, thanks, thanks to the uh, little guides, we should end up pretty much on the same plane as far as the positioning of these things go. And we'll pop that right on there. There we go. Don't really need to put glue on anything else. We want that, that, little, that little bunting to just kind of hang. Give this thing some nice dimension. And our last one. A little drop of glue. Another little drop of glue. And pop that into place. There we go. And if these two don't completely overlap, not the end of the world. We've got, we've got a nice little element to cover up any little imperfections that may result. And that is just fine. So you can see what we've got so far. Beautiful. It's coming out really nice. Okay. Um, so speaking of which, we've got some more little gold elements that we're going to add to this. And these are the ones that have the little flowers on them. And you can see when we place them here, how they're also going to cover up those little indicators. Okay. And I am going to, yeah, you know, cause these are, yeah, we're just going to glue these right where the flowers are. And I'm going to continue with my hot glue here, which I probably didn't see that coming, but may as well. I'm just going to pop that right on there, right in the center. And of course, when we're, when I'm done with all this, I'm going to take a look at the final photos of the project. I'm going to be adding some bling to uh, the centers of these little gold pieces, just to kind of jazz it up even more. Okay, so nice little dot of glue in the center of this little flowery gold piece. Hopefully this glue gun doesn't burn me. Get it nice and centered on that bunting. Oh no, oh no, no. Yeah, it'll work. There we go. All right, moving right along. I'm having fun with hot glue. Would you believe it? Can you believe it? Yeah, just pop that right in place. Just right on top of that little circular area where the two pieces of bunting meet. Nice little dot of glue. There we go. Now there's one other thing that I may consider doing. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to take a look at how it looks once all said and done, but I may want to throw a little extra glue. Um, I'll show you where here in just a second. Let me just finish this up. Uh, I messed that up. <clears throat> Okay, so again, just a little dot. Pop that right there. Hopefully you can see that. There we 
go. And then also take a look through while you're while you're putting these down the little hole in this section. Just make sure that the seam, the two seams that make up the uh, the round part of the balloon, that they're kind of centered in the middle of this. Just to make sure that everything looks nice and symmetrical. Okay. Yeah, and see what I let's take a look and see what that looks like. That yeah, looks nice. Okay. Now if you want, you can go back in and maybe just do a little drop of glue right in this section here. To get that to kind of sit more. But that's totally optional. Some of these, they're just sitting a little bit differently than the others. So if you want, you want them to all kind of sit nice and flat, you can add an, an extra little drop of glue. Okay, so, well, so far so good. All right, so we're going to put the skirt together. And to do that, I'm going to close this up. So let's put a little bit of glue on this tab here and grab the other end and just get it nice and connected. Okay, just like that. Okay, and I already started putting glue on this. I shouldn't have done it, but I'm gonna go back to this one here. And we can put glue on just one of these sections, doesn't matter which one. Just pick one of these sections here. Okay, and the idea is to Take these and just want to line it up with the very base of the balloon and just pop it right into place like so. And I would take a look around and make sure that all the other ones are matching up. And once we have one in place, go over to the opposite side and we're going to get that one in place next. Okay, so I can move this out of the way. Lay this down. And get your glue on this next section here. Okay, make sure that all of the little green parts are out and not sticking inside of the balloon before placing it into its final little spot. Just like that. Okay, just make sure that it's nice and aligned. Once we get those two in place, the rest of it kind of falls into place. We still need to glue it down, but as far as alignment goes, it'll make life a lot easier. So actually, you know what, go ahead and skip, skip one. So this one's glued down, I'm gonna skip one, I'm gonna go to this one, just to kind of stagger the gluing a little bit. so that we don't end up with uh, any slack when, once we get to the very end. Okay, so just make sure that that is nice and centered right on that piece, and then just press it down into place, like so. Okay, I'm gonna skip one. Well, that one's already glued down. So at this point, I don't think it really matters. Well, we can do this one here. Get your glue on this whole little section here. And again, just make sure that you get the alignment right. It's nice and centered. And press that down into place. Okay. There we go. And I can peel this one back. Get a little bit of glue on there. Just like that. And get that nice and centered. There we go. Just press and hold that in place until it sets. And just move right along to the next one. Nice 
nice and centered. And let's see, I got one more here. Get that centered. There we go. And I think I've got one left. And there she is. Oops. There we go. And that should just pretty much center itself. Okay, and there's our beautiful skirt. Wonderful. Okay, get this string out of the way. It's starting to get looped up here spinning this thing around so much. All right, and then finally, for the balloon here, we have these little gold pieces that are gonna go right on top of the green sections here. Okay, so all we wanna do is just throw some glue on these pieces here and just glue them to the corresponding part of our skirt, which is right here. Just bring that down as far as you can. Make sure that it matches up nicely with that existing piece, like so. And just continue doing that seven more times for each side of the balloon. A lot of details, I told you. Be a lot of details in this one. But it's gonna be gorgeous once it's all done. There we go. That nice and centered, nice and in place. And there we go. <clears throat> so how are you guys doing with this project so far? Pretty good? It's, uh, it's different, that's for sure. But it's gonna look great once it's all done. Okay, yeah, just moving right along. I'm getting glitter all over my hands, as usual. I thought I read somewhere some at some point that they were gonna outlaw glitter because it's like really bad for the environment. Um, there are some alternatives that give the look of glitter without the contamination factor. <laughs> I remember decorated for Halloween one year and they were putting all sorts of glitter on everything at the time. And I swear I was vacuuming up glitter for probably six months after the fact. So it's, uh, it's pretty, they get kind of messy. They, uh, they have that, I think American Crafts makes it, it's called POW, I think it's called POW glitter paper. So again, it gives the illusion of glitter without actually having all those little glitter specks everywhere, which is cool. Okay, so that's working out nicely. I feel like I'm missing one of these. Hopefully not. Okay, so I've got a few more here. I'll get that in place. There we go. Yeah, there certainly is one missing here. I'm gonna see if I can locate it. <clears throat> ah, I see it. It's over there in another pile. Okay, whoops. There we go. One more, a couple more I should say. Well, one more. There's the last one. There you are, you little rascal. Okay. And we get that one in place. You can see here, I'm just lining it up, matching it up with the, the little green section there. There we go. Okay. All right, it should sit nice and flat on that skirt, and it does. Let me 
untangle this. What are you doing here, mister? Mister. There we go. All right, let's lift her up. Let's take a look here from that angle. Looks great. Love it. Okay, so we are ready for the construction of our little basket now. Uh, and again, I mentioned that we are going to, um, well, we're going to bling this thing out too. So again, take a look at the final photos to see exactly how and what we did with that. All right, so as for the basket, we have this piece here, okay, and you want to go ahead and get everything folded at the score marks. Okay, and this piece is going to get attached and affixed to the vertical piece. And I'll show you how that all works here in just a moment. I want to make sure that I get this all folded. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just simply begin by putting glue on these little tabs here. We'll start off with the triangular one. There's one little section where we have um, some little swans and you'll see that section when we get to it, but put a little bit of glue on that first tab, tuck it behind. Now it's gonna go, it's gonna curve in at an angle. Okay, so it's not completely straight up and down. It kind of comes inward a little bit. So make sure that you get the right angle on that. Okay, and then move on to the next tab here. Man, it's been, it's been a little while since I've crafted, so maybe I'm going a little bit slower than usual. And it's mostly just so I don't mess up. As I mentioned, this is my first time putting this together. I'm very happy with the outcome thus far. Okay, so now we're at a section here where we've got um, kind of uh, a little well, a little rectangular area. Uh, same process applies though. Just put a little bit of glue right on that little triangle, bring it in and affix it to its neighbor. And just hold that in place for a moment and then while you're holding it, you can definitely start applying glue to the next little tab and then bring in this section here, get that connected. Okay, that looks good. And moving right along here, another tab. Get your glue on there, tuck it in. Again, focus on getting it at that correct angle. It's kind of curving in slightly. Uh, I don't even want to pretend like I know what that angle is. This isn't geometry class, so I'm just going to say that it angles in slightly. <laughs> okay, so next piece, just bring it in, angle it in. There we go. Beautiful. And that just leaves this last little rectangular section. I'm just going to put glue on both sides and both tabs here just to get it out of the way. Kind of hit that with my finger, thin it out, spread it out, pop it in, make sure the tabs are in there. And just press and hold that in place on both sides. And Don't let go. There we go. Okay. Just be patient with that little section while it sets. And next we'll, uh, we'll construct to this guy here and we'll get these two sections connected. Okay. That looks, that looks spot on. Okay, so this guy here, you want to fold everything at the score marks, and then we're going to close it up by putting glue on this tab here. 
Okay, I'm gonna spread that out nice and thin all the way out to the edge. Grab the other end and get it connected. There we go. Should be able to do that flat as well. So I just kind of folded it onto itself at that seam so I can press and apply more pressure. Okay, now keep in mind here that we've got these two little sections with these little rectangles and this is where our little swans are gonna go. Um, and we wanna match those up with the two little rectangular sections on this piece as well. So what we wanna do at this point is we do wanna flare these tabs out. Okay, and when we do that, I'm gonna take this whole thing and we're gonna put it inside and make sure that you match up the little areas with the extra little section. Okay, I'm just gonna pop that in there. You might have to kind of squeeze it in and then push it back out like so to create the little basket. Okay, and I do think that the easiest way to get this connected would be to use the little scrap paper method where you just take a little bit of glue and put it on a scrap piece of paper. And then what we'll do is we literally just take that, since there's no glue on the back of this, you can just slide it in there and apply that glue to the inside of the tab and then take and just press that in place with your finger from the inside. Just make sure that everything is nice and lined up as far as the little corners go and that is working nicely, okay? So I'll do all the larger sections first and then I'll grab a thinner piece of scrap um, for the little areas with the tiny little rectangles, okay? So I'm just kinda just gluing that on there, spreading that glue onto the inside there and then just gonna press that from the inside to get that to stick. And we are gonna be putting a little, uh, oh, there's gonna be a, an overlay on the bottom. Now what you may wanna do is rotate and kinda of alternate sides here. So I just glued this side and this side. I'm gonna go over to this side now, just kinda of go all the way across and I'll paint some blue on the inside of that one. Make sure it's nice and centered. And you can kind of feel where that, um, where the score mark is. So you wanna just kind of get that aligned with the little score mark. There we go. And you know what, to be honest, I don't even know if we're gonna to need to glue down the small rectangular area because so much of this already has is already going to be kind of glued down. I don't know if structurally it'll even matter if we glue the, the smaller rectangular section down. There we go. A little tricky, but not really. All right, that's glued down, that's glued down. This side needs a little bit of glue. You can tell which side needs glue and which side doesn't. Okay, so just putting a little bit more glue on my scrap and just painting it on the inside of that little section there. Okay. And just pushing that into place. Seems to be holding very well. I think I've got one more here. I'm gonna wipe this off. A little more than that. There we go. And there's a section that doesn't have any glue yet. I'm gonna just paint that blue on the inside. There we go. And just push from the inside. So I'm using these two fingers here kind of get that glued into place. 
There we go. Okay, so that side's glued, that side's glued, that side's glued. Yeah, I'd say that looks good. And again, I don't think I'm going to worry about gluing the two little these two little sections here. I don't even. Well, I mean, I can show you. I don't think it really is going to make a difference. Um, I'm just going to cut a real thin strip of paper, pretty much the the width of that. <clears throat> Throw a little bit of glue on there. Not too much, just a little bit. And just slide it right in there. There we go. Wipe off the excess and just get your finger in there to push that into place. So that's if you want to do that. Okay, now let's put the little panel on here. So we've got a nice little coordinating panel. It's going to go on the bottom like this. Okay, so what we want to do is put some glue, start in the center. So obviously I've already folded at the score marks here. Start in the center. Get your glue on that center piece. And pick a side, any side, doesn't matter. And get that into place. Make sure that you've got it nice and flush with the bottom and also that these little corners here where the folds are match up with the folds on the very base. Okay. Just like that. And then we can pull this back and apply our glue to the remaining section here. Also, make sure you get a little bit of glue right out to the very edge of that. Fold it over. And if you kind of need to adjust it or move it down or up a little bit, do that so that this piece is nice and flush with the very bottom. Okay, that looks good. I'll bring this back. And then this is the little, it's a little uh, small section there. So just get that nice and aligned. It should match up perfectly, just like that. There we go. And then hold that little rectangular area in place as well. And you can see how nice that's starting to look. Okay, grab your other piece, same exact piece, and get it folded. Start in the middle. Okay, and find the middle part, it's right here. Again, use the little edges here where the folds are for the score lines. Make sure that those are sitting nice and flush on that section there. Nice and flush with the bottom. There we go. And we can peel this back, get some glue on this section. Make sure you get a little bit of glue out to the very tip of this section here, and then just fold it over. There we go. And that should match up pretty much exactly with that other section, and it does. Okay, and the last two little sections here. Put a little bit of glue on there. And just fold that over, and then fold that little rectangular piece over as well. Again, use your finger to kind of feel and make sure that that paper is nice and flush with the very base of our little basket. There we go. And that looks great. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so we do have a little overlay that goes on top of the basket. Um, you want to take and fold it at the score marks. Now we're doing ours in a, a white glitter, which I have also inked with some turquoise. And with glitter, sometimes it's hard to see the score lines on the face. So take a look from the inside and just make sure that you uh, are folding it at the right spot. And then there's also some score marks here where our little swans are. and you want to fold those. Now before we do anything with this, you do want to take these pieces here and glue them 
um, to the little swan that's going to make up the little eyeball and the little nose or the beak. Okay, so go ahead and put some glue on just this section of our little swan. Okay, and you want to glue that down like so. Just make sure you get it nice and accurately aligned so that the end result is like that. We're going to do that for each of the little swan pieces here. Okay, yeah, we're kind of on the last leg here. This is what I mentioned where some of this will just end up being some paper piecing while doing a little bit of 3D type stuff. But it's not that bad at all. Okay, so you can see what that looks like. Because ultimately what's going to happen is these two, the two ends that contain our little swan heads, they're going to meet up. They're going to meet up. They're going to meet up for some coffee. Okay. Get your glue on just that piece. Find the corresponding piece that goes with it. Line it up. There we go. Get that in place. And then one more right here. go just like that and get that in place that looks nice okay so as we're putting this last little piece on you want to make sure that the little area where the swan heads the swan's head will eventually end up is in this little section here where we have the extra little section you can see that this section is different than this section. You want the swan head to end here at this uh, corner. Okay, so we'll start off by gluing this down just like we did the bottom piece uh, by starting in the center first. Okay, so let's get our glue on the center part of this guy here. And just want to line that up with well, first off, the little corners and these little uh, circular little posts. So get that glued into place and hold that down until it's fully set. Okay, and then we can peel this back gently. Apply our glue. Make sure you get a little bit of glue on that little post. And do not put any glue on the swan just yet. We're going to do that later on, but just make sure that it's nice and flush with the top of our basket like that. Okay, and we can take and peel this side back, apply glue on the little post as well as the remainder of that section there and just peel that, no, don't peel it, pull it over right there. Again, making sure that it's nice and flush with the top. There we go. Okay. And we're going to actually connect the two swans together once we get them there. Okay. So same thing with this side. Start in the center. Get your glue on the little post, that whole center section. And you want to go here in the center. Get that nice and lined up with the little creases, just like that. Make sure it's nice and flush with the top. And we can pull this back, get a little bit of glue on that post, throw some glue on the rest of this. And then while we have this open, we can take and put a little glue on just the top part of our swan's head. You don't need to put any glue on the bottom. Get that lined up and then take your other swan head and just kind of connect it at the, at the beak and then see how much more you can kind of get it connected. Maybe just the beak and 
the first part of the head. There's going to be a little gap there. And that's by design. Okay. So just like that. So that's what that should look like. And then we can peel this section back. Get our glue on there. And again, just on the beak and maybe the first part of the head there, like so. Fold that over, give that a good press, and then get the little swan connected at the beak and at the, just the, kind of the forehead area, I'd say. Make sure that the beak is nice and aligned on both sides. There we go. And there we have it. Beautiful. Okay, now this little basket where our brave souls will sit while they're flying high. Okay, that looks great. Uh, we do have some little flowers and we're actually gonna use some foam squares for this. Let me grab my little foam squares here. We'll just do one little foam square on each side. That's kind of thick, but that's fine. And we're going to put our little flower right here in the center of this little section. And we'll grab one more for the other side. And again, that just leaves the little ropes that connect our basket to our balloon. And there is our beautiful basket. Okay, so that's all ready to go. Now we've got, in my case, four of these that are made of gold. And then we have a series of these. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue these together. And these are not symmetrical. So they're only going to go on one way. You'll notice that this section here is a little bit longer than the other section. So you got to make sure that, that we're gluing these together correctly. I'm going to do them back to back. Okay, so you're going to glue two of these together. And this is just to kind of make it more sturdy. Um, so let's do that. Let's, we're going to have a total of four of these yellow sections when all is said and done. And then once we have these together, we're going to embellish it with a little bit of gold. Okay, so just kind of connect them like so. There we go. So you're going to do this a total of four times, just like that. And then we'll, again, get our gold piece on there. And then this is what is going to be used to connect the two sections together. Just make sure that you get the, get the correct sides in place. There we go. If you need to lay that down flat, probably be a little bit easier. Okay, so there's two. We'll do a couple more and we'll get our gold pieces in place. There we go. And the last one. And then the, the straight areas here, you'll notice that, I mean, you've got little scalloped sections and then you've got straight areas. Those are the areas that are gonna get glued to the inside of the balloon and the inside of the, uh, the little basket. And that way, that's how you know where to position everything. Okay, so you can see here, we've got a total of four of these. Now, we simply just need to add our little gold trim to our little yellow pieces here. So we'll go ahead and get some glue onto the gold sections here. 
it may help to kind of lift this up and just do it that way. There we go. Just like that. Okay. Moving right along. Oops. Certainly is a, uh, this is quite the project, but guarantee, guarantee you've not seen a more beautiful balloon anywhere on the interwebs as far as SVGs go, that's for sure. Okay. One more after this and then we can get it all joined together and we can take a look at our beautiful end result. I'm kind of excited to see how this is going to turn out once it's all together. There we go. Okay, last little piece of gold right there. All right, so to get this into place, um, we'll start off with the first two. This one here is going to get glued to the little smaller section that we have between these larger sections here, okay? And we're going to uh, glue it down to pretty much the very bottom of where this face ends. You don't want to go all the way down to the bottom of this, but to the bottom of this section here just before it starts to angle out. Okay, so we'll take some glue, and again, you're putting glue on the longer section here. We'll get our glue on this whole thing here. And we're gonna pop that right into place. You want the gold part to be sticking out just right where it starts, right where that gold piece starts is where you want to position this and get that nice and centered. Just hold that in place for a moment. You can see how I have that in place there. Okay, and now by no means, this, this balloon is not meant to stand up. Uh, it's not reinforced enough to stand up. It is something that you will need to hang, which, I mean, it makes sense. It's a, it's a hot air balloon. It needs to be, you need to let it fly. Okay, so we'll grab the next one. Again, we're gonna put glue on the longer section like so, and this one is going to go on the opposite side in that little area right behind our little swans. Okay, so just kind of take a look inside. I'll show you here in a second once I actually have it in place. I don't want to goof this up. There we go. Just hold that nice and steady until it fully sets. There we go. And then the other two are simply going to go on the opposite sides here. Okay, so we're going to put them on the sections right behind the flowers. Okay, we want to try to center those as nicely as we can right on the flowers. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this in like so. Get it right there. And the, um, the little cutout where the, the gold part terminates, that is actually going to help you ensure that you have it nice and level as well, too. As long as you've got that um, kind of flush up against the top of, in my case, the white glitter, that'll ensure that it's not like sideways, that you have it going straight up and down. And that'll help the overall aesthetic of this thing, too. It'll make it look nice and polished. Okay, so just tuck that right in there. Make sure it's nice and centered, and then just press that down. There we go. Okay, and then as you probably had guessed, all that's left to do now 
is take and apply glue to these sections here and tie those into the actual balloon. And now one thing I'm going to suggest is, so this is going to be the front of my hot air balloon, in which case I want this part with the flower to be in the front, okay? And my little swans are going to be off to the left and right. And again, all that you really need to do at this point, and what I'm going to suggest you do, this little area here, um, what we're going to do is we're going to put glue on this section here, and we're going to pop it in there, and you want the top of this gold piece to hit the very bottom of the structure here. Not the skirt, but the actual structure itself. Okay, so let's see if I can show you what I mean by that. Let me do this first one here. Let's get some glue on this section. Just like that. And we're going to slide it in. And we're going to line that up. Let's see if I can do it from this angle here. Yeah, I can do that. Line it up so that it's literally, so that the very top of that gold piece is aligned. Can you see that? Yeah, so the very top of where that actual gold glitter stops is right there where the beginning of the actual structure begins. Okay, so and, and try not to try not to bend this too much. Okay, I'm gonna go over to this side now. Okay, okay, you know what? This might be easier to do if I just go like this. Okay, I'm gonna just get my glue in there. Like so. And this one is going to match up with the next section. So we're kind of, we're skipping, skipping a section here. There it goes, right there. Sorry. <laughs> there it is. Just like that. It's, uh, it's a little hard to demonstrate this on camera. But I think you get the idea here and how that's going to work. Once you have it in place, you definitely want to just be patient and let that sit before you go and move anything else or move on to anything else, I should say. It's pretty delicate at this point because it's just holding on to, or holding on by one, one little uh, rope, I guess we can say. Okay, so we've got two ropes in place now, and just need to get glue on the next section here. And you can definitely pull this down a little bit. I wouldn't bend it too much. And just spread your glue out nicely. And then bring it on over. You're alternating sections here. And make sure you get it nice and centered as well. And just press and hold that in place. Make sure you got it centered. There we go. And get our glue on. That last little piece there, if you need to, grab a scrap little piece of paper and kind of paint that glue into position wherever you need it to go. And you know, it might have been easier, <clears throat> excuse me, it might have been easier to actually do this part first, maybe, and then glue it to the basket. But all in all, Still works. There we go. And I think that's it, guys. Again, I'm going to add a little bit of bling to this um, just to jazz it up even more. But I think that's it. 
Make sure I don't pull these wings apart. And we can take a look at the other camera angle to see what the end result looks like there. And we'll spin around. Again, I'm gonna end up trimming this string a little bit more, but you can see how beautiful this little balloon is. And again, I would not, I'm sure it'll hold up for a little while, but I would not, I would not just let this sit like this. You are gonna wanna hang it to display it. Uh, but that's pretty much it. So definitely one of the most unique and definitely one of the more beautiful projects from our site. I mean, they're all beautiful, but uh, this one certainly is very unique and uh, on a whole level of its own. Uh, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the process. If you did, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. And while you're there, um, hit that little bell so that you get notifications anytime we release a new product, whether it be paid, free, or any of our educational videos. And if you make this or anything from our new bundle, we'd love to see it. So head on over to our Facebook or your Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Group, where you can join myself and the 20,000 plus other dreamers that inspire us daily. So again, thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to crafting with you again.